Hey, it's Steven here with Catch, Grow, Cook, and today we're going to go over how to get rid of aphid, aphids from your Brussels sprouts. Now, this is a bad problem for me because uh, one of my plants was like completely covered, which you'll see later, and we tried ladybugs, um, we tried just random methods that we read online. Uh, for whatever reason, didn't try homemade insecticide spray. I think I was a little afraid of, the, of what it was called, but it's really just soapy water. So we're going to go over how that worked for us, um, and we'll show you um, after a few days kind of the results. And you might be surprised by how well a simple solution can work. So yeah, let's get to it and take care of our beautiful Brussels sprout plants. So here are all the aphids that infested this Brussels sprout plant. Oh, it's bad. Yep, it's all in there. So we're just going to spray this down with water and then uh, use some soap water mixture to hopefully keep this aphid free for a little bit and that way it protects all the other Brussels sprouts too because they're getting pretty chewed up um, but they're also getting their growth stunted. They haven't been producing Brussels sprouts. So we got to keep uh, these nutrient suckers or get these nutrient suckers out of there. We'll see how that goes. So when you spray down the aphids and get them off the Brussels sprout plant. So while this is sped up at 10x speed, I want to take a moment to go over what I'm doing here. So make sure that you're spraying water directly on both sides of each leaves. Open the folds and make sure you open those inside leaves because that's where the aphids really like to hide. And if you don't spray them off directly, your aphids will continue to come back. There we go. So after spraying the leaves, it's a lot less in here. Just knocked them, most of them down. There's still some in here to go back and spray a little more, but you can see it looks a lot better than, uh, <laughs> than like two minutes ago because it was bad. Oh, there's some spots I missed. Yeah, so if you don't spray the water directly on them, they just... Uh, hide and sit in these little nooks and crannies, especially in a Brussels sprout. Just so many places to hide with all these layered leaves. Got to make sure that they're all sprayed and knocked down. Um, you can see down here, it's tough to see in the soil, but there's a bunch of white speckles, probably not coming up on the camera super, super great. But uh, yeah, keep knocking these down. Let's go th spray these one more time with water and then come back with a water and soap solution. All right guys, so let's make some soapy water spray. Um, so it's really straightforward. We're just gonna use some castile soap and some water and put it in a spray bottle and really that's it. And this will help get rid of the aphids that are still there that I did not spray down. Um, but more importantly, this will also prevent them from coming back. Uh, you might have to spray it every two to three days for about two weeks. But the great thing about this soap and why you wanna use castile soap is it's made from vegetables, so it doesn't have you know other fragrance, other fragrances, um, or other types of chemicals that might actually damage or harm your soil and plants. Um, this one's Dr. Bronner's. It has peppermint in it. I mean, you can use any of these ones that have these different essential oil fragrances because these are all natural, so they're a-okay. -okay. Um, but yeah, let's just make this real quick and get out there and make sure we can get these aphids off those poor Brussels sprouts. They're just getting eaten up. So what we're gonna do, really simple. Um, you probably should measure it, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, given that this, I think, is 12 ounces, we're just gonna give it a squirt or two, um, which should be like a tablespoon, teaspoon, um, probably a teaspoon, and just fill it up with water, shake it up, and then it's good to go and just we'll spray down the plants. Um, and the thing to note, actually, as I do this real quick, the reason why, looks good, the reason why um, soapy water is able to kill and prevent aphids from coming back is because they're actually a soft-bodied insect. Um, don't want to get into the science too much. You can you can look up look it up online, but basically it, it causes them to drown until they die. Um, so it's a really natural and safe pesticide to use. 
because um, we have two dogs. I got a little kid running around. So the last thing I want to do is use chemicals. Um, whereas if, you know, the dog licks the plant or if the kid touches the plant, whatever, um, he's kind of in the licking phase. He is two years old. Um, then they're just licking soapy water, right? Like I could drink this too. It, it wouldn't hurt, hurt you at all. It might taste a little gross. Um, this one actually might taste a little minty. So, uh, yeah, just want to make sure it's all safe and organic. So just like that, soapy water, shake it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're ready to, uh, finish off those aphids. Um, cause my Brussels sprouts, I think it's been like two weeks. We haven't gotten to them. And so, yeah, we need to go save them. Chew. Good job. Hey, come here. Let's put this in, put this on right here. All right, so we gotta spray the plant. Yeah? You ready to spray the plant? We gotta spray those plants. You ready? Come on, come this way. So I sped this part up to 10x speed since we're just spraying the plants here. Now, a few things to keep in mind. First, you can see that it is safe as my son is spraying everything, including me and the camera. I wasn't nervous with him handling the spray since it's just soapy water. Next, when it comes to the spray, Make sure you spray directly onto the aphids if you want to kill them, since you need to spray both sides of the leaves, flatten out the folds, and even open the insides of the Brussels sprout plants, since they will hide in those baby leaves. So as we can see, it looks a lot better. There aren't just aphids popping out left and right. I think we're going to let the soap water do its thing, but it looks like we sprayed them down. I don't see any really hidden in here like there were before. I think we did a pretty good job getting rid of most of the aphids. Oh wow, get an extra spray? Good job. Good job, keep spraying it. Yeah, get that. Get all the aphids, get them. Wow. Getting the celery too? Oh, getting your dad, thank you. I'm aphid free. One week later. Hey guys, so it's been one week today and we are going to see how the Brussels sprouts are hanging in there after we sprayed them with the soapy water insecticide spray. Um, so I have not actually reapplied it. Um, so that a week ago, I just sprayed it down with water and then hit it with the insecticide spray. So uh, we'll see how it does um, having not reapplied it at all and see really how effective the spray is. All right, here's our little Brussels sprout garden. There's six plants, but this one in particular was the trouble one. <laughs> and so let's see here. So you can clearly see uh, I sprayed, or I had my mixture way too soapy. Um, so there's soapy soil. That's interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. But up here, at least going back to the leaves, um, we can see that it doesn't look like we're having aphids crawl out of the woodworks like the first time. Uh, oh, oh, there's some. Found some. So who knows if I didn't... Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, is the interior leaves. They just really hide in there. But... It is definitely a lot better, like way better than when we started. So I think it does work. Um, I also think I need to reapply. So I'll have to get the spray and make sh and definitely make sure this time to open up all the inside leaves and spray them down because that's where really where they're hiding right there. Always the inside baby leaves. But yeah, I would say direct water and then soapy water spray as the insecticide is effective and personally for me we tried ladybugs and it did not work out as well as this you can even see we created like a ladybug stick house here that was kind of a fun little experiment but it did not <laughs> kill off the, uh, the aphids as well as the spray did so yeah hopefully that helps you guys keep a healthy brussels sprout plant and that way you can eventually start to get, oh, there we go. We're starting to get some Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I just want to make sure you get those aphids off there since they do suck the nutrients out of your plants.
All right. Well, best of luck and happy gardening.